to a point where the possibility of this happening, he jumped on it, and as you look at the beat, and look at the number of calories in the some kind of a, a, a bomb pipe that could blow it out of the water. It shows how these plants could be used. And what they did, they learned that in the beginning, the plane would land alongside the atmosphere, and then they would lift the plane up with holes for little And we will be going back to our studios to tell you about some of the people making it possible for me to be here with you. And we invite you to listen to it, and then we'll be back with more as we get ready.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, these first parachute team in the target area are a much smaller canopy. Being blown by our competition team. They can reach the speeds in excess of 90 miles an hour as they swoop across the ground. Watch as this next jumper comes over the crowd and safely swoops into the target area. They will then fly a downwind leg. Up base leg, 90 degrees to the target. And then turn into the wind for their final approach. You notice this first canopy coming into the target area. This is the Black Army Star canopy. Being flown by our team leader, Sergeant First Clash, J.D. Varentis. Notice the seven openings in the front of the parachute. This allows air to be forced in, inflating the flexible wing glider. Notice the minor corrections the jumper is using with the steering lines. Making it possible for a dead center landing! This next jumper comes in the target area. He sets up. He's concentrating hard on a small black dot. And he hits it! Looking above and to your left. You may notice these parachutes have been coming tangled. But that is not the case. These jumpers are performing a facet of the sport called Canopy Relatively. As these next jumpers enter the target area, you may look above and notice that this formation you see flying above you is called a side-by-side. -side. With the advanced aerodynamics of these ram air parachutes, it is possible to fly one parachute right up to the hands of another without adversely affecting their flight characteristics. Now, if you saw landing one parachute was hard, try landing two. These jumpers have now broken apart. And they will both come in and splitting the target inside the target area. Jumpers come in. They set up. One, two, run! The last parachute you see being flown into the target area is being flown by a free fall photographer. He is taking pictures of you all of you right now. Get him into the target area, ladies and gentlemen. And all jumpers on the ground! From Glen Burnie, Maryland, he's an airborne military police officer with 1,340 free fall parachute jumps. Staff Sergeant Kevin Hester.
But the pair of two on thirty that you see coming by right now, ladies and gentlemen, represent the aircraft. You see that the longest serving